What's up friends, Shane here with the Modern Warrior Project and in this video I am going to do a quick demonstration on how to use a aquapod. Uh, there's a lot of different variations on the market but ultimately they're bathtub liners. Uh, so I'll kind of run through a demo, talk about some of the features, pros and cons, and if you wait till the end I'm going to explain why I recommend against these and I'm going to provide you a better solution. So it's pretty simple, simple kit all in all. It has an instruction sheet telling you how to use it. I'll kind of go over that with you here. You have a pump that you can use once the, uh, the bladder is full and in place. And then you have the actual large bladder. So all you do to actually use it you're going to place the bladder into your bathtub. I know you can't see that right here, so I'll go over to it. Alright, so as I'm filling this, it's kind of tedious. I have to hold this, otherwise it tries to slide off. So what I decided to do is I'm going to see how this works. I stole one of my wife's hair bands or whatever they call these things. I'm going to put it on the spigot and, uh, you know, all depends on how your tub is to how well that will work. It's not going to be tight enough, so I'm going to double it up, see if that's not too tight. There we go. in there. So this way, you can kind of wrap this thing on. I don't have to sit here and hold this the entire time. But As you can see, it's still filling up. Um, takes the same amount of time it would to fill up your bathtub. I'm sitting here watching. Okay, it looks like it's about full, so I'm going to go ahead and turn off the water. And that is the end product as far as how it looks. Now, I'll get you on here. Right here, this is a kind of like a Ziploc bag. It's basically, a, you can seal this closed. And you can also utilize the pump. Uh, one thing to note, I noticed when I was filling it up that I had some folds. I could see them underneath on the bottom side. This is actually pretty durable. I was able to pull it and grab it from the side here and pinch and pull and pop those folds out. You can kind of see one back there still. Um, <clears throat> so pretty simple process as far as filling it up. The material is thick and durable. Okay, so it's, it's full. As I said earlier, if you have a Ziploc enclosure here, you want to keep that closed when you're not using it. Uh, but when you're ready to use it, you can come in. I'm going to demonstrate. You're going to use the pump. It provides you with a little siphon pump. You come in, pop that pump open, put your uh, it in there. And I have a bucket down here on the ground. So I'm not just shooting this on my floor. And you just kind of got to... Squeeze it and withdraw water. Pretty simple. Um, not as fast as a climbing method. But, okay, so at the beginning of the video, I said if you hang out till the end, I'm going to tell you why I recommend against the aquapod or bathtub liners in general. First of all, let me say it's not the concept of having the bathtub as an emergency supply water source that I'm against. Absolutely for that. Uh, depending on where you are with your water storage preps kind of determines where it falls out in the priority things. For instance, myself, I have a pond. I have water storage and tanks and a number of other things as far as reserve water. So it's low on my priority. However, I don't put all my eggs in one basket and having the bathtubs and a potential emergency water source is still an option. So I'm not against the concept, it's the product. And it's not just the aquapod, it's all of them out there on the market. And the reason for that is pretty simple. <clears throat> cost. It really comes down to cost and I also say it comes down to use and I'll talk about that too. So as far as cost goes, these are one-time use items. They specifically say one-time use. The reason for that is once you use it, it's going to be very hard to dry it out uh, and ensure that there's no microorganisms in there. And so you could potentially have contaminated water if you try and reuse it. Could you? Sure, you could reuse it, but uh, like I said, they say it's one-time use. So the cost is, let's say, about $30. You need to use this from a prepping standpoint preemptively. 
I can't fill it once my water goes out. So I have to anticipate my water going out to use it. That would mean that if I know a hurricane's coming or a bad storm, I go ahead and I preemptively fill up my bathtub. Who has $30 to do that every time a, a potential threat comes along? It, does, it doesn't make sense. It's financially irresponsible. So for that reason alone, I say don't use them. Additionally, uh, they are not that user friendly. It's very easy to throw in there. They're durable. It's easy to fill up. But then extracting the water is a bit of a pain. As you saw with the siphon, it's a slow process. And I, what I didn't record was me emptying that thing. That's a chore, right? Because your spout's up top. So now I have to empty it and the bottom of the plastic is covering your drain. So, and I'm not a small guy, but I had to use a lot of force to put, short of cutting the bag open, which I could have done. Uh, I had to pull this. It, it took some work and effort to empty that as well. So what's the solution? Well, as I said, um, I'm gonna provide you one. We don't wanna just drink straight from the bathtub. It's kind of nasty. There's uh, bacteria, you, you bathe in there. It's, it's kind of gross in general. Could you get away with it? Certainly. So if you don't have anything, um, fill it up anyway. You can use that for hygiene purposes. You can use it for uh, washing and, and other types of non-drinking activities. Is it potable? If I'm gonna risk dehydration, I would drink it. You can boil it and make it potable and then drink it. It's still kind of nasty, so there's a better solution than that. Very simple. Painter's drop cloths. You can get the cheap ones, two for a dollar, a dollar at your local store, and super easy to use. So all you come in, and maybe I'll make a quick video at some point showing you how to do this, but it's super easy. I open up painter's drop cloth, throw it into the tub, fill up the water. So I fill it all the way up till it's top, turn it off. Now I have an exposed top, which is, uh, you know, leaving some air for stuff to come in and potentially contaminate it. Simple solution. Cover it with a second painter's drop cloth, or if it's long enough, you can fold it right over. And now I've got a pretty sealed um, environment to store that potable water, and it only cost me 50 cents to a dollar. Another plus on this is accessing that water. If I need a pan of water, I'll just come in with a pan, lift it up, fill up the pan much easier than trying to run through that siphon. So much better solution in my opinion. I, uh, I used to think I was for bathtub bladders in concept. I think it's a great idea, but in reality, it's not cost efficient and it's not easy to use. Instead, use some painter's drop cloths. So that's my take on the Aquapod bathtub liners in general. As I said, it's a good quality product. It just doesn't make sense. So at the end of the day, make your own choice and good luck to you and good practice.